what's up? It's Kieran. I want to talk about how to form accountability partners. So get accountability partners, accountability groups to make masterminds to help keep you on track and accountable with your goals. Week in, week out. What were your goals? Did you achieve them? Why not? Why not really? What are your goals for the next week? Are those really the best goals you could be pursuing? How about this? How about that? What problems are you experiencing? Have you considered this? Have you considered that? And how much money are you going to pay if you fail these goals? And so every week do those and it's just been spectacularly helpful. Maybe one of the best things I've ever done and probably the most critical part of my week is my mastermind meeting. So how do you form these? Well, the easiest way that I found and I did this before I had any business being in a mastermind, right? You know, no one was seeking out my advice on jack of shit. This was, I don't know, whenever it was, a couple of years ago, I was going to just networking events, talking to anyone, asking them, you know, what do you do? How I, how was your week? And man, I try and divvy into what, so what, what's been on your mind the last week? What sort of challenges, problems, difficulties, obstacles, or whatever have you been facing in the, in, in the last week? And through that, I get them to sort of talk about what that problem is, and then rather than prescribe them a solution, me give them semi-unsolicited advice, I would say, well, what do you think the solution to that would be? And how long would that take to implement? And is this something where it's worth prioritizing? Is the benefit important? And and uh, so on and so forth. And be like, so how long would it take? And a, uh, could you do it? And will you do it? And are you going to do it in the next week? And if you are, do you want me to call you? And that example sort of makes it seem like I'm really pushing this. But this is something when I when I do this, and I've done this dozens and dozens and dozens of times people love this people love like you helping them deconstruct their problem especially if you are you know socially conscious when you do it so i'll give you an example so talking to this guy web developer makes 10 times as much money as i do and was just talking to him about you know his week and he was saying he's having his problem with his staff member he's you know he's this designer but he's not really good and he's told him and you know, it's just a pain in his ass and it's very stressful. And I say, so like, what do you feel like the solution is? He says, I probably should just fire this guy. So I said, okay, so like, what would be the consequences of you firing? What would be the effect of this? It's like, well, I mean, nothing really. Like it would just free up my mind, blah, blah. There's no like unexpected consequence. It's all just pretty much upside. Okay. And are there any risks associated with this that you could mitigate? No, not really. And so how long would that take? I mean, 30 minutes. Is this something that's worth prioritizing? Yes. How long, like, could you do this in the next week? Yes. Will you? Yeah. Would you like me to call you next Friday um, to check if you've done it? Yeah. And he was like so super chuffed. He's like, oh my God, this is so fucking useful. Like, especially people who go to these networking events all the time and then you, maybe they get something out of it. Maybe they just get buzzed. This is like, fuck, this guy's like motivated me to go and do this. And meanwhile, this guy makes 10 times as much money as me. So that was the first time that really worked out. And then the next week, call him. Did you fire him? Yes, how'd it go? Went fantastic. You know, thank you for getting me to do that. And I was like, oh, cool. So like, what do you want to do in the next week? Blah, blah, blah. And then bam, I'm in a mastermind. That's a two person mastermind. And the next week he says, oh, so what would you like me to hold you accountable for? And then you have these mini meetings. Anyway, so that guy went to DC BKK conference, doesn't matter. And then came back and said, hey, I really want to form a mastermind. And uh, yeah, I think that you should be in it. And he actually said this, and he's being honest, you know, you're the lowest level person that'll be in there income wise. And I definitely was. Everyone else there was, you know, 10K a month entrepreneurs, um, fully mobile. But, you know, I feel like you're very good at, at keeping people on track and blah, blah, blah. And you can help keep us accountable and motivated, blah, blah, blah. So then I'm in this weekly group with these, you know, pretty fucking good entrepreneurs who've been doing it for several years. And I'm actually 
you know, being part of it and then being like super motivated as well because you have to force you to lift your game. Like, oh, like I think once I was like, oh, th this next week I want to read The Power of Habit. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that book's terrible. <laughs> what you need to do is more prospecting. You know, like however many calls you need to think you need to make, you need to make at least triple of that. You know, it's very like um, you push each other. And so, yeah, it's just tremendously helpful. You need to make sure that it's the right mastermind. But even a bad mastermind is significantly better than no mastermind. And uh, yeah, so that's how we did it. But to form it, it's just these, these conversations. You're giving unsolicited, sorry, you're not giving unsolicited advice. You're barely even giving advice. You're just getting them to tell you what problems they have and so that they can tell you what they think the obstacle is, what they think the cause is, what they think the solution is, what they think um, that they should do and how long would it take and is it a priority and should I do it and could I do it and will I do it and am I going to do it and do you want me to give you a kind of, yes you do and then bam when you call them next week same thing, week after that same thing, week after that same thing. You don't have to do shit to do this. You don't have to know anything. I was thinking like maybe I could give them advice on Facebook. Not really. It's not that valuable. But just helping someone work through their problems uh, for things that you have no level of experience in is still so fucking useful and that is how you form a mastermind uh, next week the video will probably be how to maximize a mastermind that you formed but yeah to make this in the next week whoever you're meeting up with for lunch coffee dinner drinks partying taking uh, performance enhancing substances whatever you're doing just get towards how's your week with the problems blah, 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 blah. and if you can start setting up these little accountability calls accountability meetings you're 60% of the way there hope you have a good one and let me know how you go